Professor Taisir Garada is a professor of medicine and cardiology and the director of medical skills and simulation center in the Arabian Gulf University in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Welcome, Professor Taisir Garada. Uh, thank you. Uh, you uh, I'm very thankful for your uh, invitation, Daniela. Also, I am very thankful for uh, the team of Body Interact uh, for this invitation. The address or the title of uh, my uh, talk is just to share my uh, clinical uh, learning experience using the, <coughs> the uh, uh, body interact table uh, in uh, medical students in the medical simulation center in Bahrain. I am a cardiologist. Uh, in the last uh, couple of years, I uh, showed the interest to develop the uh, medical simulation center and I was successful to est establish uh, five years ago um, the, uh, the uh, center in the Arabian Gulf University. And um, uh, this is the uh, team that uh, running uh, the show. There are all uh, doctors, as you can see, uh, nurses, doctors, um, and uh, engineers. And uh, we call the, the facilitators are uh, the title designated for our doctors who are qualified and they have uh, extensive um, education in uh, simulation uh, by having courses uh, prior to work. Um, the, this is Bahrain and this is uh, uh, the city center area and uh, this is financial harbor. This is our medical school that has been established in the uh, 40 years ago, uh, 1980. And uh, it is uh, adopting the problem-based learning uh, methodology of uh, education. Our medical simulation uh, center is, uh, was established in uh, 2017 and consists uh, of uh, eight clinical examination rooms, two debriefing rooms, and two past trainer room, and uh, supported with uh, facilitators, trainers, and engineers. This is the entrance, and these are the rooms, and uh, the rooms are big. Uh, there is uh, facilities for, uh, as if you are in the hospital. I mean, uh, these are the corridors in the uh, building, and the uh, <clears throat> you, the way we we uh, we have in general the medical simulation is by having uh, groups and cycles three cycles per day each one will be two hours and a half so we have uh, because of the covid uh, influence we reduced the number to 25 at one time in the center with a small number of five uh, Earlier, we were ha having larger groups, more students, but uh, hopefully now the, uh, with COVID-19 uh, is over, we hope that um, we, co we go back to the full-scale uh, education. We are concerned at the moment um, uh, in the final med, uh, year five and six, we have 400 students total in these two years. And all of them should have uh, at least once weekly a session. So you expect that there is a huge load on uh, us. We have uh, six high fidelity mannequins. Uh, we have clinical scenarios running for with each discipline, medicine, obstetric, surgery, and pediatric. There are around uh, six to eight uh, kind of clinical uh, immersion cases uh, followed by debriefing. And um, also, uh, in addition, we have past tar task trainer after uh, each uh, clinical scenarios covering uh, the skills in different way. In addition, uh, we have uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, body interact, which we are proud of, and we are using it uh, for the last four years um, extensively. And each student in each discipline uh, should have at least one uh, uh, one session, and uh, with Bidi Interact, um, the uh, the ratio of uh, having the Bidi Interact is one to one, 
so we don't have groups uh, of discussions. And I, I feel um, the groups will violate the way of thinking for the middle learner himself, and uh, they will have a sharing um, decision rather than single decisions, which will enable disable his uh, uh, proper thinking and judgment. So I felt strongly that uh, it's one to one, and uh, then uh, the we have the full support uh, uh, for uh, the body interact uh, in terms of the software, which we renew we we'll, we we'll renew the cycle the the cycles and the license as well, allow ch changes for clinical scenarios if needed on yearly basis and sometimes even. Um, uh, 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 less than that. So uh, the outcome and the implications, uh, we found that it helped our students in uh, to make an independent thinking, enhance critical thinking, sharpen the speedy interaction, and the scenarios promote students' full engagement, allow the master of physical finding, especially when it is a uh, a long case, which is the usually what we have. I mean, it's a bronchial asthma cases, uh, uh, pneumothorax cases, and uh, uh, acute diabetic uh, hyperglycemia. So uh, the the students are learning a lot of physical finding, a lot of uh, uh, clinical laboratory results, and he make his own plan of management at the end. And we found that it's also allowing to elaborate the proper differential diagnosis of the case based on the history, allow the skill assessment and uh, learn the lines of management through having the drill. We call it the drill that uh, usually, and uh, at the end, there would be a feedback that uh, tell the student where he went wrong and where he went right. And that's the beauty of it. Uh, it allowed the repetition of the case. Some, some who had low score, we allow them to do it again. And it's a, a kind of a journey over 20 minutes and the learner should finish all that in 20 minutes. So it does improve significantly the clinical reasoning. And actually there is a huge demands from the students to increase the number of body uh, interact uh, sessions as you can see, uh, one of our facilitators are uh, is showing the medical students uh, who are sitting. Now, it happens that she is observing the other students, but usually it's one to one. And they start from the history, uh, end up with the examination finding, and then they go to the investigations and they end up with the uh, management. This is the scenario the uh, the facilitator should prepare about the case and what to do, where to go. And it's a, a lengthy process where we have to prepare very well what to say about the case, although the whole work would be done by the student himself. The dynamic is uh, where the students, after having the case, would be uh, filling the feedback, writing his reaction about it, and I will show you the feedback forms that we fill at the end. Uh, it was an excellent and all the time the learner required more exposures, as I told you. Feedback was as excellent at all grades of the students. And um, the methods of conduction is via the table rather than uh, software. I have shown you the table. Uh, this gives a large uh, psychological safety for the students and uh, reflect uh, better uh, when it comes to the examination and the diagnosis. So this is the forms that filled by 400 students in one year. Unfortunately, or I can't, I don't know what to say, but most of them, they strongly agree on these uh, kind of uh, clauses. And uh, many of them, they write that they were satisfied and they were happy and they want more to have in terms of the body interact uh, skills and experience. And this uh, case was in surgery and uh, the, right, uh, the students write his name date. And unfortunately we have it as a feedback to show how important is the debriefing. However, 
um, uh, we are uh, unable to use it uh, uh, as a kind of a research uh, tool, uh, not because of the facilities are avail not available, but maybe the methodology of having the feedback is limited. So as you can see, the majority of the students have a strong agree about all the contents of the feedback sheet. Some had agreement and very, very few who disagree or they were neutral. So uh, in conclusion, uh, the Body Interact is a very intelligent tool of artificial intelligence that fill a gap in the medical education process in the Arabian Gulf University to allow rapid response for the differential diagnosis, good reasoning, and also it allows swift thinking line of management, including investigations and treatment. Furthermore, body interact shall enable students to have a good medical practice in the future as in turn, because they have online cases and they have it and they live it. Thank you very much.